If your game keeps stuttering and you get low FPS, your CPU usage is always high or your GPU doesn't get utilized as much, this video is the one for you. Because today we will be fixing the high CPU usage and low GPU utilization during gaming to boost FPS, fix stutters and FPS drops without any BS, so let's get right into it. One of the core reasons why your CPU usage is high without any actual performance gain is a setting called power throttling, which limits the CPU's performance to save power for background tasks causing massive stutters and FPS drops in games. To disable it, press the Windows and R key at the same time, then type in gpedit.msc and then hit enter. Once this opens up, go to the administrative templates, then go on to system and then scroll down until you can find the power management. Inside of here, go to power throttling settings, double click on turn off power throttling and then just simply go ahead and enable this option. Enabling this will turn off power throttling ensuring that you will get the most CPU performance while you're gaming. Simply hit apply, ok and then close out of this. Next up is a setting that a lot of people get wrong and it's the system configuration one. So a lot of people will tell you to open up the system configuration and then go ahead and move on to the boot tab, then go into the advanced option, then check the number of processors and set it to the maximum number. But this is a completely useless setting and it does not improve the CPU performance. A lot of people on YouTube think that it allocates all the CPU cores to your system which is not true because windows by default already uses all of the cpu cores i mean just look at what chat gpt has to say about it it is used for testing purposes to limit the cpu cores at boot with no performance gain whatsoever so keep this one disabled and keep in mind that it's not going to give you more fps or even fix stutters what will though is actually going to services then hide all microsoft services and uncheck anything that you don't want to start up with your windows for example the mozilla maintenance service and anything else that you don't want to start up, simply uncheck them, hit apply and to take it even further you can go on to the startup tab, click on open task manager and then disable any of the apps that you don't want to start up with your windows. This is actually what will improve your CPU and windows performance and give you more FPS. Once done, we can simply close out of this and exit without restart because we will be doing that at the end. Another reason for high CPU usage and low performance is the useless windows services that run in the background while you're gaming. So let's get rid of the some of the most annoying ones. To do that, open up the start menu and search for services and then open it up. Inside of here, the first one that you want to disable is the windows search. Now this will not completely disable the search feature, it will just disable the indexing that's constantly going on in the background in order to free up the CPU cycles, hence improving the CPU performance. So right click and go to properties, make sure to stop it and then set the startup type to disabled and then hit ok. The next one is the print spooler one which should be right here. We're gonna be doing the same thing inside of this, stop it and then set it to disabled. And the last one and the most important one in my opinion is the sys main one. For that we will need to go to the s section and then scroll down until we can find sys main. This is the super fetch service that has been renamed to sys main which is constantly running in the background. It does say that it maintains and improves the system performance over time but what it does is actually allows you to open up some apps a little bit faster but at the cost of constantly using the CPU resources even when you are not opening other apps and you are only playing the game. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and disable this one. So simply go to properties once again, stop it and then we are going to be setting the startup type to disabled then hit ok and now we can close out of this. So there are a lot of settings that we can change to fix high CPU usage and improve GPU performance. However, applying all of them manually can take hours and you can easily make mistakes. That's why I have created this optimization pack with easy to apply tweaks so that you can save time and ensure that you are applying the right changes to improve performance, fix any FPS drops or stutters in every game. For that you will need to download the ultimate CPU and GPU optimization pack, the link will be in the description. You can simply download it from my website, make sure that you click the red download button and don't click on anything else. Once you have it, we're gonna be starting off with a custom power plan. Now a power plan is one of the most important things in my opinion to draw out the most performance from medium to low end PCs. This custom power plan that I created is the one that has worked best for so many people because I have constantly benchmarked it and it has shown improvement in not only the average FPS 
but the 1% lows and 0.1% lows as well which are very crucial for fixing stutters. So to import this power plan you will first need to apply this registry file, simply double click hit yes and ok and now you should be able to import this power plan by simply double clicking on it. Once it has been imported, simply go into the power plans and apply the rec OS power plan. We're gonna be doing more with this later on but for now close out of this, go back into the pack and open up the CPU priority. The CPU priority will automatically send the CPU to prioritize games and foreground tasks instead of constantly changing priorities between background and foreground applications. So go into the folder of the CPU that you are using, I'm using an Intel CPU and then simply apply the priority registry file inside of there. Once you are done with that, we can move on to CPU optimizations. Now these will help you improve CPU responsiveness by limiting the background tasks that hog up the CPU utilization so that the CPU can better perform in real time tasks like games. This is going to disable game DVR and the game bar. This is going to disable spectre and meltdown which are like security features that are completely outdated now and are no longer required. However, they still use up the CPU resources. This is going to improve CPU responsiveness by turning off network throttling index and this is going to apply the best win32 CPU priority in order to prioritize your games. So go one by one, apply all of these registry files and then move on to CPU code tweaking. Inside of here you will find the setup for quick CPU setup which you can install just like any other software. Once you have it installed, simply right click on it and run it as admin. Inside of here the first thing that you want to do is make sure that the power plan is set to the rec OS power plan. Then also ensure that all of these values are set to 100% and this is set to AC which it should be by default if you are using my power plan. If you don't want to use my power plan then you can go ahead and use the ultimate or the high performance power plan. Just make sure to copy all of these values. Then under the advanced CPU settings just go ahead and copy these ones as well which once again should be applied by default if you're using my power plan. Then you can hit apply, close out of this, then apply this one as well and you can close out of this. One more thing that you should always be checking inside of here is the CPU temperature. Make sure that it never goes over 80 degrees celsius. As you can see it's hovering around 50 ish which is completely fine. As long as it doesn't go over 80 you should be fine. If it does though then make sure to reapply the thermal paste or maybe replace your CPU if it's just damaged. Moving on we're gonna be optimizing the GPU performance to ensure that we get the most FPS out of our games. For that open up the GPU optimization tweaks. Inside of here the clear dot bat will clear out all of the temporary files as well as any shader cache so simply right click on it and run it as admin. The next two optimizations are the ones that you will need to select based on your system specs. So for low to medium end GPUs and systems you will want to apply this one and for high end systems you would want to apply this one. If you are not really sure what system you have you can comment down these specs and I will personally let you know which one you should apply. For the sake of the video I'm gonna apply the low to medium end optimizations and then we can move on to the GPU thread optimizations. This will help your GPU to handle multi-threaded apps more efficiently, reduce stutters and ensure better GPU performance in games. Simply select the GPU that you have. For me I'm using an AMD GPU so I'm gonna apply that one and then simply apply these thread priorities. Then we can move on to MSI utility and this one is a really crucial performance improvement that you should always apply. This ensures that you always get the most performance out of your GPU rather than letting it underperform and of course lose on FPS. But for this to properly work you will need to run it as administrator. Once this opens up, select your GPU, make sure that the MSI box is checked and then set the priority to high. You can also do the same thing for any other supported devices but that's really not that important. Just make sure that the GPU is set to MSI mode then hit apply and close out of this. And the final thing inside of this pack is the advanced section where you can overclock your AMD or Intel CPU. However, this is for advanced users only so make sure that you know what you are doing and make sure to follow these guides properly if you are going to overclock your CPU. Moving on to some of the crucial windows settings in order to improve the CPU and GPU performance. Starting off go into the settings then go into privacy scroll down until you can find background apps and make sure that these are turned off. If this is turned on it will constantly be using the CPU in background and you will always face stutters and FPS drops inside of your games. Now we can close out of this, right click on your desktop and go to display settings. Inside of here scroll down and click on graphic settings and if you have the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling option make sure that you turn that on. It's going to offload some of the GPU rendering and it's giving you improved performance especially in newer titles. Moving on make sure that the app preference is set to desktop apps and click on browse. We are going to be setting our games to the highest performance available from our GPU. In order to do that go inside of your games. For me I'm gonna go ahead and use Fortnite. Just simply go to Fortnite, Fortnite 
Fortnite game, binaries win64 and then select this one, the Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe and then hit add. Go ahead and add any other games that you want as well, then click on options and set it to high performance. This is going to ensure that the GPU is always prioritizing this game instead of any other rendering option. Simply hit save and you can close out of this. Now you can restart your PC and enjoy the improved performance. If this video helped you in any way shape or form then make sure to leave a like down below and watch this video to optimize your PC even further.